This is going to de depict how to produce a ribosome using EPMV and the one we're going to use is 2B64 and then we're going to make the second subunit which is 2B66. Load EPMV. I'm going to dock it over here. Put it right there. First things first, I'm going to go to edit options turn off center molecule and take secondary and turn it to none, click OK. Take backbone representation, turn it to spline and load 2B64. Click fetch, it takes a while for it to load. If you don't click center, center molecule, if you don't uncheck center molecule, it will it won't put the two ribosomal subunits in the correct orientation to one another, in the correct position to one another. I know this takes a long time, but I thought it'd be valuable to show you because you never know how long to wait. Um, and so this way, if you're watching my computer do it, you can, you know, you can get an idea of how long it's supposed to take. Here it is. And let's go ahead and do the next one. You have to, in order for the splines to show up, you have to unclick spline and then check it again and they'll come up. The next one is 2B66. And there are a number of ways you can use this. You could, you could go in here and find just the splines, connect them all. By the way, if you if you look at your force quit applications like I do, it says not responding, but it's actually working on it. And so it will probably not fail. It'll probably just eventually do it. Um, and these are splines. If we open these, we'll see that the individual subunits that make up the ribosome are in there. I'm still trying to figure out how to colorize them properly. I might make a second video on that if I can get it figured out. Uh, I make these videos as much for myself as for anybody else because a month from now I will have completely forgotten how to do this. And so if I make these videos, I'm more likely to remember. Come on, hurry up. <sighs> Painful. Okay, there it is. And the same thing's true. You have to unclick spline and then check it again and they'll both come up. And here they are. Notice Cinema 4D did not crash and these are the two subunits. All right, so I think that concludes how to make these two subunits and these are splines and if you if worse came to worse you could get all the splines from the first subunit and copy and paste them and then you know, make a Lofner out of them or whatever. But what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to try to go through and make one of these uh, surface. Uh, but if it doesn't work, I'm going to end the video right here and you can look for the next video. All right, let's give it a try. Surface representation, coarse molecular surface. It's probably going to freak out, but. did it look at that all right and we'll do the same thing for 2b66 well that is 2b66 I guess 2b64 so we have to load that one in here current selection 2b64 course molecular surface oh, that's pretty cool I think that's it